Red Ricker Vlogs here. Here with my good buddy Christian Forrest. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> What's up guys? Ed Ricker here with Christian, my buddy. What's up y'all? I know full well that we're getting a lot of wind noise, so I'm not gonna talk very much, but what we're doing is a hover test of the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic Pro together. Very windy out here, we're gonna see which one handles the wind better. This has been uh, something that's been debated in the comments quite a bit. A lot of people just assume that the Phantom 4 Pro hovers better because it's more powerful and it has a bigger motors, but I don't think that's the case. Contact? Contact! It really feels like the Phantom 4 Pro is bobbing around a lot more than the uh, Mavic Pro. And look at this. Christian is uh, flying the Phantom 4 Pro and he keeps losing altitude. This thing actually keeps going up and down. All sensors are on, by the way. Yeah. Bobbing around a lot. Here, raise yours up a little. There you go. So it really looks like the Phantom 4 Pro is not as stable in the wind as we were hoping. Uh, Mavic Pro actually seems to be holding a more steady shot, and the Phantom 4 Pro, on the other hand, is losing altitude and raising and lowering itself. Even though you have more power in the Phantom, aerodynamics is the main thing that you're looking for when any sort of wind comes into question. And the Mavic just has less surface area. So of course, whenever the wind's blowing around, you're not gonna get any motion. I mean, constantly I was having to readjust the altitude of the Phantom because it kept getting pushed down. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a test, a hover test of the Mavic Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro, windy conditions. Um, thank you, Christian, for helping me out. Check out my website, edricker.com, for all the different drone accessories that I use for these videos. And until next time, happy flying. Ricker Live.